are back in Poland. We love this country so much. And we're gonna be starting our Polish trip with the beautiful city of Gdansk. It's truly stunning. So much good food, so much art, and just great to walk around in. So let's go explore it. After arriving at our Airbnb at around 4 a.m. and a pretty short night's sleep, we had a much needed coffee and now we're going to have some food here. And if it's anything like the wonderful food in Krakow, our day is off to a great start. It's really cozy in here and some nice jazz music. The menu seems really good. I'm excited to eat. We ordered a few things. Our first course has arrived and it's a tomato cream basil soup and it looks amazing. And the designs are so pretty. There's also some toasted pumpkin seeds on top. Oh, and did I mention there's Parmesan dumplings in here? It's very hot. Mm. I remember in Krakow in the Christmas market, I think we had the tomato basil soup and it was fantastic. This is equally as fantastic. Oh my god. When you come to Poland, you're really gonna enjoy food. It's amazing. And we got some glug, which is mulled wine. Last time we were in Poland, we really liked it. It's, it's a little different than the one we had at the Christmas market last year, but it, it seems like each place has like a little bit of their own recipe. It's delicious, very strong. So we're probably gonna wait to eat a little bit before we get into this. Let the next course arrive. I got the panko breaded chicken, which it looks way, I was just expecting like a little like chicken filling, but it was breaded, but this looks amazing. It has panko breading, cheese inside, I think a tomato sauce. It almost looks like the meat's like rolled up inside itself, which is cool. The potato looks great. And we have a yogurt garlic sauce. The straw sauce is very strong in the dill, which I like. I don't know if Murray's gonna like, I hope so. We got a very extravagant Caesar salad. I don't know how we're gonna finish all this food. We're very hungry. We've been burning a lot of calories the past like two weeks. Yesterday we walked 10 miles in the city of Edinburgh. <laughs> 10 miles. And then what I'm very, very excited about, pierogi. That's a specialty meat in there. And then we have some onion and bacon garnish on top. I wish we had some of the sour cream. The meat inside is beef. It's very, very tasty. I really like the taste of it. And then to top it with the bacon and the onions, it's really, really yummy. Yeah, I, I don't think I have any more words. I just want to dive into this food and we'll see you right after. There's something about this atmosphere right now. I don't know if it's the music or like the really warming food and my view from this window. Something out of my Tumblr post from high school. <laughs> That meal was amazing. There's something about eating food in Poland that is just like so pure. I, I, I don't know, like I really enjoy the food here. It's just so good. I agree. And okay, all of this we just had were super full, $32. Now we're right outside of the Academy of Applied Arts. There is also an art exhibit in there. So such a cool building on the outside. Let's go and see what's inside. I really like these two. They make me feel very happy. Having a cup of coffee and reading. So the only other city we've been to in Poland ever was Krakow. And you can obviously tell that there's a lot of similarities. It's the same country, but it definitely feels a lot more Baltic here. And I really love the Scandinavian Nordic countries, probably the Baltic ones as well. And I feel a lot of the Baltic influence here. Most people know now the Danish word Huga 
So like the whole all-encompassing feeling of general coziness and maybe it's just the time of year, but I really get it here, sitting in that cafe or bistro eating lunch. We got caught under what it seems like. It's just one big rain cloud and it's gonna pass. You can see some in the other direction. Stop another coffee in this really cute cafe. I just have to say something about the style here in Poland, but I feel it even more here. It's very minimal without being sterile. If anyone knows what I mean, let me know if you do. But I, a lot of minimal style can almost seem cold, and I don't like that, but I like the minimal. But this is like cozy and it's still warm. And even like again, windows, the style is just so nice. Very cozy city. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer and then head back out. I just wanna say I'm in love with the city. It is beautiful. Like you don't even have to do anything. You can just like walk through. The buildings are just stunning. It's something that I've never seen before in person at least. And the different colors they have. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm loving the architecture. I'll just say it. Say it. I'm in awe of the city. It's just so beautiful to the eyes. I, I, I'm, no words. Yeah, and I also think when we were looking up the city before we came, I expected that there would just be like a really small pocket of like the really beautiful center, but it's actually quite a big area compared to I think like Krakow. Was it seems this like the old town seemed smaller in Krakow? Yeah, it was this very small. Bigger. Yeah, yeah. And it's really beautiful. It's stunning. It's yeah. just so nice, like we were thinking like what do you do when you come here and there's obviously places to see that we'll go to stop and but like Maria said before, I think the best thing is literally just walking around. And with all the walking around, taking in the sights of this beautiful city, we ended up across the street from the old town where there's uh, the Gdansk Forum shopping center and we were in awe yet again. And we literally just walk out of the mall and we realize that the river in the mall, which looks like it was just a nice little installation of the mall, was the actual river coming through the city. That's crazy. And that's how you incorporate modern really, world into like, Really good design. Yeah. Really good design in the city. And now I think uh, the time that we've all been waiting for has come. And let's to eat more food and drink more blog. All right, and then you just take this sauces. Oh, the mushroom cream smells so good. We have the baked pierogies, which we've never heard before. I didn't even know they existed, but they were kind of like little pies or British pasties. <laughs> Ooh. So these ones are mushroom and cream and chicken. Got a garlic sauce with them. Let's try with the garlic sauce. It's not too hot. Really nice. The food just tastes so fresh and wholesome. All right, so these are homemade noodles, and it has a cream mushroom sauce, and then the other sauce is bacon and onion, and it just smells divine. Oh my god, we're pretty hungry. It's making my mouth water. And did you know that they're making this stuff right below us? So like, I can just go like this. Oh, they're actually there right now. Let me show you. Hold on. <laughs> All right, let's try this. I love mushrooms, I love onions, I love green. 
and I love potatoes. So the combination of all this is just like perfect for me. And the dumplings are made out of flour and eggs and they're saying the, the hens that the eggs are from, they're very happy. So um, maybe that also makes a difference with the food. Dumpling noodle like literally just like breaks apart in your mouth. It's so tender. It's really, really good. And they also served us this like thing which must be traditional in the area. It's like cabbage and some kind of fish. I think it's probably herring. I yes. may be wrong, but like the bots like seen a lot of herring. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty good. And so this place, they take big pride in their like homemade dough and bread. And this street that we're eating on, and actually we're right next to our Airbnb, so it's really convenient. From the 15th to the 17th century, every Saturday, there used to be a bread market. Their mission is to kind of continue that tradition with like fresh bread and fresh dough, food. I'm really excited for all this. So we meant to order these fried, but we got them boiled, which I guess is healthy. <laughs> and this is pretty much just plain pierogi with cottage cheese. And we got the sweet cream sauce. I'm going to try it without the sauce first. It's a lot different when it's not fried. But it still tastes really good. It has a sweet flavor to it, so they must add like some sugar to it already. I think it's like a cream with yogurt because it has a bit of like a tangy flavor too and I like that. It takes out like the heaviness of the cream. Mm -hmm.